welcome back to the channel uh, today I'm gonna show you how to set up Rio Jinx the Nintendo Switch emulator LDN that means online play with your friends the first thing you will need to do is come to this link link in the description of course and you will need to just download the version on, that depends on the OS that you are in, Windows or Linux. Press the download link here. And then just download it. I already done this before, so I'm not gonna show it again. Okay. Then just extract the folder. That's very easy to do. Okay, then you have this real Jinx folder. Just click it, open the exe file. Don't worry about this. Okay. Now, if you are first using Rio Jinx for the first time, you will get an error saying keys not found. Don't worry, don't panic, because to play those Nintendo Switch game games on the emulator you will need those keys and I'm gonna put a link in the description saying how showing you how to get those keys and extract them for from your Nintendo switch because yeah you'll need to legally own the games if you want to play them okay after that when uh, you will solve your problem I'll just show you the, the file location where to put those keys just click uh, open Rio Jinx folder, then system, and here. Here you will have the prod keys, the title keys, and some other files that you get from Nintendo Switch. Then you just need to install a firmware, link in the description, the latest firmware to make sure that the games will load very well and play with your friends okay after that you'll need to go to options settings graphics here you can change put your graphic cards change Vulkan to OpenGL it's like you want the resolution scale make sure to enable shader cache and yeah that's not for today because Today I'm gonna show you how to play multiplayer. So I'm just gonna click here. Okay, now hear me out. You will need to activate the U Ryu Jinx LDN mode. Make sure this is activated. Then you just need the network passphrase that is right here. This you will need this to play with your friends. You will need to this to have the same code right here just select generate random and then copy it paste it to a friend and make sure he puts it in the same place here okay then you will need to just map your controller right here you can use retro controller just keyboards drag on pro controller drag on left right as you wish okay then to make sure all the games uh, show up right here, you will need to go to game directories, add one game directory, select the folder where you stock your games. For me, it's here. You just add it, and that's it. Okay. Now, after doing all those options and all, you just open the game and play. Yes, it is as simple as that. I'm gonna show you an example. Okay, let's load up Mario Party Superstars. I can't, sh I can't show you a lot of gameplay though, because you know, Nintendo doesn't like emulators <laughs> and stuff. Okay. Just okay, now you you will need to go to local play, not offline play, of course, and not online play. Because online play, we need to use Nintendo servers 
that means due to the switch online and of course you can't use it on your Jinx or Yuzu so you will open online play uh, <laughs> sorry local play then create a room if you are the host and join if you are the player is gonna join the game okay you just create a room here if you want to set the code or not that's not a problem click ok uh, if you are playing with more people in your room, that means in your PC, you can just add two or one player. Okay, uh, the, after creating a room, you are the host here. You just need to wait uh, for your friend to join the room. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. Of course, it depends on the game. Huh? Just need to join room, and it's gonna search automatically for room. Of course, there is no rooms right now because I am the same host and the the other player that's gonna join. Okay, uh, we can close this. Okay, so. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little tutorial how to use real Jinx at the end. As you can see, it's very simple. It's not really hard to use it. You just need the emulator, a game, and of course friends. But you will need a stable internet connection to not really lag. Because of course, as you know, all know, lag is always most hated thing that happens in gaming and we are not using uh, really big servers so expect some lag if you don't have stable internet connection okay uh, so thank you for watching and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel thank you guys bye